Hey everybody, I'm Sound Power Bobby on here. Um, yesterday was shoulders and tricep day, which um, was pretty awesome. So, I'm gonna talk a lot about that. Um, just a good shoulder routine. If um, I find best thing if you warm up doing flies, um, front raises, a couple shrugs, and then move on to a shoulder press. Either um, well, I do the Swift machine just so I can go extra heavy and get a little more uh, control out of it. Um, some people just like military press and once I get my arm fixed I will be doing push presses again um, if you never did a push press it is the best thing for shoulder mass you um, do it two different ways I do it for the lower part of the reps I start um, with the bar on your chest and you use a little bit of legs for momentum and you push up um, now you can go all the way into like straight lockout or just before lockout um, depending on what you want to do depending on how you feel like training um, for me, it was just the bottom half of the movement just to get um, super heavy. Um, oh, before my arm was injured, I used to do up to five plates. So, I mean, it was like pretty awesome. It's um, a great works out uh, shoulders, your triceps, bit your legs. It's like a kind of a full body exercise, almost like a squat. It's a little old um, exercise way back from the 70s. I remember Tom Platt's doing it. Um, oh, it was really awesome. Um, that's where I got it from, the old Arnold Encyclopedia. Which I tell people, if you can find it, order it online. There's a ton of exercise in there. It's amazing. Uh, read up on it. It's like Bodybuilder's Bible. There's a few editions out. I happen to have both editions. So there was a original Arnold edition, and then there was um, another upgraded one with more people like um, Lee Priest in there, um, Lee Haney, a lot of those guys, more newer bodybuilders too. Um, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. So check it out. It gives you tons of ideas. Describes every exercise, what it works. Um, if you have a, if you want to work, you know, say like upper chest, middle chest, outer chest, describes every exercise, breaks it down into categories, what's best for each muscle. So worth taking, you know, it's definitely go find it online somewhere. You can still buy it, I'm sure. But anyway, so, um, yeah, getting back to shoulders. So if you do that, uh, the push press, it's amazing, uh, strength and, uh, just a mass builder for the shoulders. Um, also another good one I doubt a lot of people do, I started doing a while ago too, was, uh, behind the back shrug. Um, now again, it's not a full range of mo motion, so um, I go super heavy on it just to give that um, traps a little extra workout. Also do dumbbell shrugs and cable shrugs um, and uh, stuff like that. And then my super heavy shrugs uh, to the front are um, done with back. So I do traps twice a week, uh, which is pretty awesome. So I go super heavy on my sh front shrugs. Um, start with 810, go down to uh, 450, and that's the lightest I go. So um yeah i don't do anything below that except for cable and stuff because it doesn't go that heavy but so that's why um but yeah so uh, cable shrugs i do 340 so that's pretty good um also you do them on the smith machine if you like those um it's not a bad idea either i just like the free weight because i can go heavier on it or i can only get six plates on the smith machine whereas the other one i can get seven eight uh nine so uh, it's way better now behind the back shrugs, I only go up to seven plates. Um, that's about it. So, which is pretty good. It's heavy enough. So, but anyways, yeah. So try those if you haven't. Um, you know, if you're having a sticking point, and there's a, um, the old ladder rack. Um, stick a bench in there, and the bar loaded up with six plates. Uh, start at the bottom, go all the way to the top. It's isometric exercise. If you're stuck on biceps, uh, chest, um, it's awesome for that too. You just sit there. Press against the weight every second is a rep, so count from uh, you know, up to 10, 12, and then as you get to the top, lower it to about six or eight. So it's amazing if you're having a sticking point, really works. Uh, it gets you past it. The only thing that sucks is you have to unload the plates all the time every time you move it up a little bit. So, but anyways, it's well worth it. Um, if you have ever a sticking point, that's the way to go. Um, and also, yeah, so in food's another thing. Um, on your vitamins make sure you're getting lots of vitamins vitamin c12 calcium magnesium glucosamine l-arginine all that stuff just give your body a little extra protection and boost and recovery so that's what i do and it works out really awesome so well today's my day off because i did uh legs the day before and uh, like i said shoulders and triceps yesterday so and speaking of triceps if you have a smith machine and you like doing bench dips uh check out my video do um bench dips on the smith machine it's not a full range again but you can go heavy i go up to five plates a side so um start with 90 go up to 450 it's just an awesome finisher it's all i use it for and then um also do dips on the uh, gravitron machine and um 
uh, behind the back push downs, front push downs. I do overhead extensions. Uh, you know, start with three forty for all of those. Work my way down. Um, so it's pretty awesome. So and I like it. So um, it really works. Uh, triceps, you know, are an awesome exercise. And then I do all the cable, you know, push down rope push downs, uh, overhead rope extensions, uh, overhead easy bar cable extension stuff like that so get a full workout um but yeah none of my shit's light it's all super heavy like god half my time is just loading plates unloading plates can't think of all the weight i do especially doing legs like i start with squats as a warm-up um work up to 8 10 and then go from there go to 720 for front squats all the way down then it's leg press for 1500 and then it's half squats uh six plates so there's 540 and then I do Smith Machine squats with six plates, so there's another 540. So just do a ton of weight. It's um, low reps, but tons of weight. It's awesome. Um, I find it the best. Uh, it gives me nice cuts. Um, don't even really have a diet. So, I mean, I'm not really concerned about that right now or ever because I just don't care. It's just um, I don't overeat. Like, I don't need a ton. So I'm within just keeping my weight kind of where, like, it's around 195, maybe 200 at the most which is perfect, um, that way I still have lots of pretty lean mass and stuff like that, so, um, your goal is to get cut, though, it's a little different, you know, stricter diet, stuff like that, but, um, for me, well, you know, it's all about, um, just power and stuff like that, so, I don't really have a strict diet, I don't do off-season, I don't do light weights, anything like that, it's super heavy all the time, um, that's all I stick with, well, it seems to work for me, so, that's what I do, um, people should try it out, it's not, you know, you look at my videos, you think it's easy, but trust me, man, you try it. It's, I think you see someone go through it with me. It's not easy, uh, you know, especially leg day. It's a ton of weight and, um, you know, it's lower reps, but lots of, uh, lots of volume. So definitely not an easy, not a workout for beginners. That's for sure. So, um, yeah, uh, give it a try sometime. It's, you know, it's a lot of sets, a lot of heavy, heavy weight. And that's the thing. It's, um, all that heavy weights that uh, build big, strong muscles. So give it a try and check it out. Take your vitamins and I'll see you later.